West Virginia is the leader in vaccinations and we'll tell you why. And the new Biden administration proposes to deploy more nursing home strike teams to help the pandemic response. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Top public health officials and long-term care stakeholders have both praised West Virginia for how quickly it's been able to distribute and administer vaccines to long-term care facilities. Last week, the state announced that it's now administering doses to more seniors after finishing initial vaccine rounds at all of its nursing homes. A success sent experts digging to see just how the state was able to master its long-term care vaccination program while so many others are struggling. The first important point is that West Virginia opted out of a federal partnership program that relies on the giant CVS and Walgreens pharmacy chains to deliver vaccines to nursing homes. Instead, the state is relying on a network consisting mostly of local pharmacies. The state, which has 214 nursing homes, quickly realized that by solely using CVS and Walgreens, on average, just one pharmacy would serve about 25 nursing homes nationwide. West Virginia has more than 250 pharmacies, and that meant each nursing home, on average, would be served by more than one pharmacy. The state also learned on the pharmacy's already established relationships with nursing homes to speed up the consent process and encourage vaccinations as West Virginia has a lot of independent or smaller pharmacies that are in the more rural communities. State health officials also explained that after the first vaccine was authorized for emergency use, it knew it would be about a two week waiting period before shots could be given. Officials said they felt like they could use that time in a better manner if they used connections in the state and opened it up to all of their pharmacies. More funding for nursing home strike teams could soon be coming under the latest pandemic relief measure proposed by the new president, Joe Biden. Biden unveiled his rescue plan last Thursday evening, less than a week before today's inauguration. The emergency relief proposal calls for mounting a scaled up national vaccine program and sending $1,400 stimulus checks per person to benefit healthcare staff on the front line, including those in nursing homes as well as residents. Biden's proposal also focuses on protecting vulnerable populations in congregate settings, particularly those in long term care. The measure calls for providing critical funding for states to deploy strike teams to long-term care facilities experiencing pandemic outbreaks and to conduct better infection control oversight. Strike teams are resource teams designed to help workers manage and respond to an outbreak and have been widely used to help long-term care facilities during the pandemic. Mark Parkinson, president and CEO of the American Healthcare Association, called for more relief funding for long-term care providers. Quote, even with the vaccine on its way, long-term care facilities and other health care providers need immediate financial aid in order to respond to this surge as well as to keep their doors open. We urge the new administration and Congress to add another $100 billion to the provider relief fund as was passed in the HEROES Act last year and dedicate a substantial portion of this fund to long-term care, he said. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.